Hi, this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to my channel. All right, so I'm going to give a full disclaimer before I get into this. My audio was very messed up and I'm not sure why. So I am just going over right now the Boho Simple Stories collection. That is what I am using. This is Simple Stories um, YouTube Hop where a bunch of us ladies come together and we use some type of YouTube or some type of Simple Stories um, collection. And what I am explaining here is, is that in the sketch that you can see up in the corner, I am going to try to make this work so that you can kind of see how I wanted to play with this. So what I'm doing here is I am taking the different pages, or the one page that I want off to the side, tearing it off, and then I've got some heavy stock um, paper right now. It's from... Uh, Oh, golly, where is it from? I'll get the name of it. Basil. There we go. I drew a blank. And I'm using that. So what I did was is that I did not put any gesso down because I want the tattered rose to sink into it because it's a color that's in the collection, but it's not like a prominent collection. So what I did here is is that I put down the iridescent um, glaze that is from Ranger, and I'm placing it... On a diff are on like this packaging technique that's got the bubble and because it's not really it's liquidy and not really um, like paste like you can't really see the bubbles but what I wanted it to do is is that I wanted it to sink into the hexagon stencil for that to pop off because I'm going to be putting hexagons on quite a bit of this layout and I don't mind that I cover this up I did have a friend that um, was watching YouTube videos with me um, this past weekend and was like, why do you do all of this mixed media and then cover it up? So I have a question for you um, ladies that just scrapbook and use mixed media or whatever. What do you feel about covering up your mixed media after you laid it down like this? You will see that once I get done with this, it may look like a hot mess right now, but the funny thing is, I cover up most of it with the hexagons. But I'm just curious to see what you guys do with, like, how you guys treat your mixed media. I was telling her, I'm like, I'm one of them that, you know, just kind of want to um, have it in the background and peek through. So it's, everybody's different. So I'm taking all these hexagons that I cut out out of the papers that I want, and I'm distressing them, and then I'm going to put lines through them. So I leave a little bit of this in so you can see what I'm talking about. And then I turn off the camera, do all the rest, and then I come back. So here I am. I'm just taking all of the um, pieces, and now they're done. And I'm going to line it up to where I'm going to kind of play around with it. So the papers that I used to cut this up, I was a 6 by 8 paper pad. And I didn't want to dabble into any others. So some of my hexagons are not true hexagons, as you can tell. So I got to use the backside or like cover it up so it still looks like a full hexagon. Because it's not all there. So I'm kind of just placing these around and then I come back in with my photo and I kind of play around with it. I kind of know where I want some of the hexagons to go. And then I go through the 6x8 paper pad and get out the papers that I want before I start to stick down the rest of this. Because I know that I have to, or that I want to, I shouldn't say, I shouldn't say I have to, but I want to um, do embellishments, obviously. So I have to kind of go through this process of how this is going to work. In the meantime, the photo is obviously of my um, daughter's hot cocoa because I've already done my photo for my cup. I always do a picture of what hers looks like for the year and a picture of what mine looks like for the year on Christmas Day. And I'm going to tell you what, I don't think my daughter's ever going to give up this cup. She has used this cup, I don't know how many years in a row now at this point. Just saying. So she absolutely loves this. So I'm just kind of going through and I have, I, like, I know, like, what the sketch looks like. And I know where I want these to be. But I'm trying to gauge 
Like, do I want, like, I got, I want to try to make sure I don't put all of the colors tones in the same spot, but I only did two of each pa pattern paper. There's only two of them of each size. Because I really didn't want to have a plethora of hexagons because then I'm going to be like, well, I want the whole dang page looking like this. And I don't want that either because I want it to, the background to stick out. I want what this looks like to stick out. And I'm like I said, I'm playing around. You will see me kind of play and play and then change some of them around. That's why I really didn't put a lot of like glue down or like... Um, ATG, you know, the, so I can move it around. As you could tell, I was moving some of these, I changed them around. I kind of wanted the, the plaid to look a certain way. I kind of wanted some of these others to look a certain way. And you'll see me, you'll see me just keep playing and tossing and turning. This was the, this was the longest part, I swear, of my life. And it's only because... It, you've, you know, you got to make it right. Like, it's got to stick out right. Like, it, it can't just be, you know, like, it, it's just got to look right. <laughs> I can't explain it. It's just, it's got to look right. So I'm just kind of going back and forth, trying to figure out where I want these pieces at. And I do find where I'm like, ooh, that looks good. I'll change it and then kind of play around with it. And keep playing around with it and keep playing around with it to make it work the way I want it to. And then I thought I was going to have this piece. And then I'm like, nope, I'm going to put all of them away and then this is where I'm at. So I'm I'm good. And then I start to embellish and then that's when I start to be like, okay, I got to go change some more of these around. And I'm trying to make sure that all of this is like in the right spots. So now I'm going to start to embellish. And I absolutely love the embellishments embellishments that I use. I really love this ho 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 piece. I think that it's super cute. And it's a really good sticker. And they also gave it to me in the ephemera. So that's a plus. I've got it twice. Um, make sure that you go check out everybody that's along on the hop. Everybody will be linked down below. I do upload between two to three times a week. So if you are coming from one of the other ladies or you happen to find our Simple Stories Hop that we do monthly, um, I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. Just hit that like and subscribe button. I'm just going through all of this other like little embellishments, just kind of adding certain little pieces to the hexagons because I don't want it to really cover up my... My background, because you can see, like on this, you can see the iridescent coming through where I placed the tattered rose um, ink ink thing around. So that you just kind of have to play with it. I love using reinker ink because it just adds that little bit of extra, I don't know, pizzazz. And plus you get more color for your bank. Um, and plus you get to do a lot more with it. You can drop it in with gesso, all of that. So I'm kind of just playing around with it to, to get it to work right and whatnot for me. So I am just slowly but surely getting this down. I really loved how this layout turns out. I just, it's, I love hexagons. I don't know why. It's one of my favorite shapes to work with. I know you guys may not see me use them a lot, but I do absolutely love working with hexagons because it's like a little piece of paper that you can just decorate up and then keep moving and it doesn't make it look like you're like overpowering the the layout. So I just need to cover up this one piece down here. It looks like we're kind of like off kiltered. So then I found this piece here and then I will find on the chipboards um, the word joy and that'll fill in right there and it'll just be perfect. I love this string of rainbows. It's fantastic. That boho-ness right there is just perfect. I'm looking at just making sure that I place everything down right and I want it to look just really good. I just love it. I added the trees in there because I felt like, oh, if I add the trees, it'll kind of feel like it's staggering and all of that goodness. 
And then I do find, I think then I end up with doing the, uh, the word joy. That's, that's my title. It's going to be with the word joy because Kaylin enjoys having hit her cup. This cup is from Europe. We got it while we were stationed over there. It is handcrafted. It cannot go in the dishwasher. Like it's a very much handcrafted cup and she just loves that cup. And now I'm going to come in with the gold splatters. And I'm going to splatter around. And then lastly, I do come in with my pops of color from um, scrapbook.com. It's my black. And I do my three little dots everywhere just to add that black feel to it. And then that is it. Make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. I do upload between two to three times a week. Christmas is a whole nother level. But I do, my regular schedule is two to three times a week. Design teams, collaborations, all of the fun goodness. I do have my Facebook group linked down below along with everybody that is participating with this hop. The still shots are coming up. I hope that you guys are all staying safe. Have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.